If you want an electrified car, there are three main choices. Fully electric, plug-in hybrid, or full hybrid, sometimes called self-charging hybrid. So which one do you go for? Well, it depends a lot on your circumstances. To help you explain what I mean, I'd like to introduce you to some of my mates. This is Fuller Highbridge. She lives in a small town without many public chargers, doesn't have a driveway, has an 80 mile round trip commute, and often does trips that are a lot longer than that. For her, we'd recommend a full hybrid. This is Phil Feather. He has a driveway, lives in a rural area, commutes 10 miles each way, and has some relatives in Scotland he visits once a month. For Phil, we reckon a plug-in hybrid or FEV is ideal. And finally, we have Evie. She has a driveway, lives on the edge of a big city, has a 40-mile round-trip commute, and doesn't often travel more than 200 miles in one go. For her, a full EV is our recommendation. What we're getting at is things like the length of your commute, other journeys you often make and where you live are all really important considerations when choosing which technology is best for you. EVs are great in built-up areas as they're more efficient than any other kind of car in start-stop traffic, plus you're more likely to find a rapid charger that will charge your car in no time at all. Having a driveway does make life easier with an EV, but it's still perfectly doable even if you don't, as long as you're happy to put in a little bit of planning. Plug-in hybrids are great if your mileage is generally quite low, but you still make the odd longer trip. With one of these, you can get around on electric power alone for most of the time, only using the engine occasionally. But because of the smaller battery, having a home charging setup is arguably more important. That way, you'll really make the most of the technology. If you're doing longer journeys more of the time, then a full hybrid might make more sense than a plug-in hybrid, as it's far lighter. Once the battery runs out on a plug-in hybrid, it's likely to be less economical than the combustion-only equivalent car due to the heavy battery pack. That being said, with ranges getting better all of the time, you shouldn't necessarily discount a full EV even if you're doing a lot of miles, especially as you'll save a fair bit of money on running costs in the process. Head to drivingelectric.com for the latest electric car advice, news and reviews. And make sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Before you go, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified when the next video goes live.